Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Yesterday, we gave you a preview of Kentucky's newest drug rehab center right here in Pike County. Today, that building was full of people, from local elected officials to Governor Matt Bevan, who was amazed at the building's transformation. Again, to me, what's beautiful about a school is that it launches dreams, it launches kids on any number of trajectories. It helps people to start to believe in themselves and their future, and they go out of places like here uh, as young Mustangs, the Millard Mustangs at, at this particular school, and they go out of here with the belief that they can do anything. And then life sometimes beats you down and robs you of that belief. And now through addiction recovery and through the ARC program and the things that are going to be done, people are going to go back out of here again as kind of new graduates with like a new lease on life and an opportunity to go out there and to re-seize those dreams that they had when they left here the first time, even if they didn't come physically to this school. Uh, I just think the irony of this building being repurposed to help ignite dreams and to set people off on successful paths in life uh, is just a beautiful thing. It's literally a rebirth of a building. It symbolizes the rebirth of opportunity uh, and the core underlying powerful influence beneath all of it is hope. And here's what I know. When a person loses hope, they lose a sense of belief that there's a future. Then they lose their faith in humanity. And eventually they lose their own sense of humanity. And they start to make inhumane decisions about themselves, about their, their lifestyle, about things they do to themselves and those around them. And so what I love about this is that it's the reverse of all of that. It is giving people hope. It's restoring humanity. It's restoring their confidence and their belief. And great things are going to come out of here. Lives are going to be changed. This community is going to be led by people who got their second chance back uh, under the very roof we're standing under right now. Tim Robinson, founder and CEO of Addiction Recovery Care, says he is excited to become a part of this community. At the Old Millard School, ARC will be renovating lives, much like the building itself. Uh, one of the things I can tell you is when we're fully operational here, we'll have 120 beds and between 35 and 40 employees um, and put a lot of jobs in this community. But most importantly, for the folks that live here in this community in the region, because I think this will be a regional treatment center, uh, they're gonna be able to come here and get world-class care. And we're not only gonna treat them, but we're also gonna help them go through vocational rehabilitation, through our spirituality program, and help get them back to work. We like to say we take people from crisis to career. We also have a 1-800 number for people who want to be able to just call somebody and say, where can I bring someone? Where can I go? 1-833-8-K-Y-H-E-L-P. 1-833-8-K-Y-HELP is a number that people can call and literally get a live person to help direct them to resources available for them or a family member or a friend. And then finally, there's a website where people can get resources. It's called findhelpnowky.org. All spelled out, findhelpnowky.org, and a person can find all sorts of resources. I just beg people, take the stigma away. We're all one degree away, including myself. I'm the governor of this state. I have immediate family members who have lost a battle to this crisis, and I'm not alone. All of us are one degree away from this if we're honest about it. So let's destigmatize it, let's remove the shame, the embarrassment, and let's talk about this, put it out there, and come together as a community and help each other out.